Hello and welcome to this session. As we all know, a mobile phone is a communication device constructed with electronic components. In today's session, let us see how to dismantle a given mobile phone and identify its major sections and parts. Smartphones should only be dismantled for refixing any physical issues in the phone as mishandling may lead to unnecessary problems. Objectives At the end of this session, you will be able to dismantle the given cell phone or smartphone, identify the different sections and parts of the cell phone or smartphone, and reassemble the given cell phone or smartphone. First, let's look at the tools and equipment needed for dismantling and assembling the cell phone or smartphone. We will need the following. Gloves, one pair. Mobile phone, one number. Screwdriver, one number. Tweezers as required. Spudger, one number. Mobile phone opener, one number. Universal liquid for frame, one number. LCD screen separator machine, one number. Gum, one number. And SIM ejector, one number. Let's now see how to dismantle a smartphone or cell phone. Step 1. Prepare the phone. First, switch off the phone and disconnect any power source. Gather all the necessary tools and cleaning materials. Step 2. Remove the SIM card tray. Now locate the SIM card tray on the side of the phone. Insert the SIM card ejector tool into the small hole next to the tray. Apply gentle pressure to eject the tray. Remove the SIM card tray from the phone. Safety tip. Be gentle to avoid damaging the tray or the phone's SIM card slot. Once removed, set the tray aside in a safe place to prevent it from getting lost. Step 3. Remove the back cover. First, heat the back panel using the separator machine for easily removing the back cover. Now rotate the phone and use a suitable tool to carefully lift and remove the back cover of the phone. Start from one corner and work your way around the perimeter of the phone until the cover loosens. Step 4. Remove shield cover of motherboard. Unscrew the screws securing the shield cover above the motherboard. Use an appropriate screwdriver to carefully remove these screws. Keep them in a safe place for reassembly later. Step 5. Remove shield cover of charge connector board. Locate and unscrew the screws securing the shield cover above the charge connector board. Now use the spudger to remove the shield cover. Safety tip. Take care not to apply too much pressure as there may be fragile components underneath. Once removed, set the shield cover aside safely. Step 6. Remove the battery. To remove the battery, first remove the battery connector. Then apply a specialized liquid solution to dissolve the adhesive holding the battery in place. Carefully remove the battery once the adhesive has loosened using spudger. Step 7. Remove the motherboard. Locate and disconnect the strips connecting the CC board to the motherboard. Next, locate the display strip connector on the motherboard and carefully disconnect it. Next, locate the antenna cable connector on the motherboard and carefully disconnect it by using tweezer. Now remove the finger strip from the motherboard. With all connections detached, carefully lift the motherboard from its position within the phone. Step 8. Remove the charge connector board. First, remove the ringer set. Next, locate the antenna cable connector on the CC board and carefully disconnect it. Now, identify any ribbon cables or strips connecting to the CC board and gently detach them. With all connections detached, gently lift the CC board from its slot within the phone. Step 9. Remove the components. Now remove the antenna cable from the phone, ensuring both its ends are detached. Next, identify the power on or off strip and volume strip components within the phone and carefully remove them. Locate the vibrator component within the phone and carefully remove it from its slot. Step 10. Remove the display. Now rotate the phone. 
Then after heating, apply a liquid solution to soften the adhesive securing the display. Carefully pry and lift the display from the phone chassis. Let's now start identifying the parts of the smartphone. Step 1. Prepare workspace. Set up a clean and organized workspace to lay out the dismantled parts of the mobile phone. Step 2. Locate motherboard. Find the main circuit board known as the motherboard among the dismantled parts. The motherboard is usually the largest component. Step 3. Find processor chip. Identify the dedicated processor chip mounted on the motherboard. This chip is responsible for executing instructions and performing calculations. Step 4. Spot RAM chip. Next to the processor, locate the RAM chip. This chip provides temporary data storage while the device is powered on. Step 5. Identify proximity sensor. Look for the proximity sensor positioned on the top part of the motherboard. This sensor detects nearby objects without physical contact. Step 6. Locate Power IC. Find the Power IC which manages power distribution and ensures proper functioning of the device. Step 7. Find Network Section. Identify the network section on the motherboard responsible for cellular connectivity components. Step 8. Spot Flashlight. Locate the flashlight component on the motherboard responsible for providing illumination for the device's camera. Step 9. Remove cameras. Remove the front and back camera modules from the motherboard. These modules capture images and videos. Step 10. Find SIM tray. Identify the SIM tray slot on the motherboard where the SIM card is inserted for cellular communication. Step 11. Locate power and volume strip. Find the power and volume strip along the edge of the motherboard. These buttons control the device's power and volume settings. Step 12. Identify charge connector board. Locate the charge connector board usually at the bottom of the phone where the mic, USB port and headphone jack are located. Step 13. Spot Vibrator Finally, identify the vibrator component near the charge connector board responsible for producing vibration alerts for notifications and calls. Let's now see the assembling procedure. Step 1. Placing the display First, carefully place the display onto the main body of the phone using gum. Ensure that the display is oriented correctly and aligns perfectly with the edges of the phone's main body. Safety tip. Take care to avoid pressing too hard on the display to prevent damage to the screen or the connectors underneath. Step 2. Attach power and volume strips. Now delicately position the power on or off strip and volume strip onto their designated slots on the phone's frame. Step 3. Attach front and back cameras to motherboard. Locate the connectors on the motherboard for the front and back cameras. Carefully reconnect each camera to its corresponding connector, ensuring that they are properly aligned and seated securely. Safety tip. Take care not to apply too much force to avoid damaging the connectors or the camera modules. Step 4. Fix the motherboard. Gently secure the motherboard into place within the phone's frame. Now attach the display strip to the motherboard. Step 5. Attach the vibrator. Secure the vibrator onto the CC board. Ensure it is properly aligned and firmly in place. Step 6. Place the CC board. Position the CC board into place and connect its cable securely to the motherboard.
step 7 attach strips now attach the finger strip sensor to the motherboard and also place the antenna cable step 8 fix the battery and connector slide the battery into its compartment and firmly connect the battery connector to the motherboard now place the ringer set onto its designated slot step 10 position the shield cover now gently position the shield cover above the cc board and motherboard ensuring proper alignment step 11 secure the assembly with screws once everything is securely in place carefully insert and tighten all screws to secure the components together Step 12. Place back cover. For placing the back cover, first apply glue on the cover. Now carefully place the back cover onto the phone's frame. Step 13. Insert SIM card tray. Finally, insert the SIM card tray into its designated slot. Ensure it slides in smoothly and securely. This brings us to the end of the session. In this session, we have learned to Dismantle the given cell phone or smartphone. Identify the different sections and parts of a cell phone or smartphone. Reassemble the given cell phone or smartphone. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next session.